Guys, I just woke up and oh my gosh, we have new Lego Leaks of the Ghost retailing for $169, which could be absolutely insane. Let's take a look at these photos right now because I'm I'm super pumped for this set. All right, so here are my first reactions to the set after seeing the post on Instagram. By 1414 Falcon fan of the Ghost, this is the Ghost from Star Wars Rebels and now going to be in Ahsoka. I just gotta say, my rating, I think it's pretty solid. I think it's like an 8 out of 10, I want to say, just based off these first reactions. However, the Phantom is very slacking, but there's a good reason for that, which I'll explain in a minute. So, on the last ghost, if you got the new Phantom, which is the Phantom included in there, and this big ghost, you could put them on each other. But the size proportions were very bad. The Phantom would look huge. This Phantom, it's a lot smaller, and it works a lot better for the set. However, if you take this Phantom and stand it alone next to the old Phantom, this thing is an absolute piece of trash. Honestly, it, it is. But, you know, it's okay because it fits well with this ship compared to the other one. So this is a good, you know, vessel for people who already have the old one. I mean, it connects with the ghost and it looks very well in the ways of size. You know, I'm pretty sure it's not going to fall off as easy as the other one did when you were flying around. But that is my thoughts on the Phantom section of this build. Now, the size of the Ghost, I do feel like it is a bit beefy, but I like that because it shows that it has more girth to it. Remember, this is $169, the same price as the Justifier. And this is also like almost double the price as the last Ghost, which was $80. So you're going to expect it to be a bit bigger. Now, taking a look at the interior space of the ship, it definitely looks like we have a lot more space on the inside than we did before, which is great to see. Looks like we got Jason Sandula in there just vibing. And then we got some storage crates on the inside, which is great. And I love that like both sections connect a lot better than they did in the last one with the front and the the top cockpit because there's like three cockpits in this thing. There's like a nose turret, everything, but it does look like it connects a lot better throughout the ship. However. I was expecting a bit more from the interior when I originally saw this, so I say the interior is a win, but it's not perfect. Hold up, editor will here. Oh my goodness, like look at this picture. This picture is amazing. It makes you feel like it's a UCS set. Like, oh my goodness, Lego, you are cooking hard, man, except for that chopper figure, which we'll talk about soon, but oh my god, that chopper, what did they do to my boy? However, I do love the fact that this set is a lot bigger than the other one. Like, you can just tell by the build and the dimensions. Like, you look at the front. The front section, um, it's a lot wider than the number of studs. I did count it out, and it is definitely a lot bigger. However, I don't get how the side cockpit thing that I'm looking at is somehow smaller than the last one, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But there's a ramp underneath it, but um, there's that to it. Also... Another thing I don't love about this set is the landing gear. It doesn't look great. I think the last one did a lot better job at the landing gear. And the, the bottom just seems a little bit incomplete. I can't see a bottom picture of this, but I feel like it is a bit incomplete. You know, I feel like there should be something else underneath there because it does look like there's a lot of exposed technic underneath there. As for the figures, these are great figures. Uh, we got the first officer right here, which might be the one from the New Republic, maybe in the Mandalorian, maybe. I'm not sure about that. Um, don't quote me on that. We got Lieutenant Maida, looks great. Uh, well, you know, it's great to get Blue Squadron again. We got Hera, you know, it's all right. I feel like the last Hera was definitely better, but this does match her new outfit in the show. But like the headpiece on Hera, I'm not vibing with. Like her goggles, I feel like are a bit too small. I like the old one better is what I'm trying to say. Um, we got Jason Sindula for the first time. Great to see him. I'm not sure how he's going to look like in the show because I don't think we saw him in the chores yet. Um, but, you know, it looks pretty good. And Chopper, buddy, you've seen better days. Dude, I don't, what did they do my boy Chopper? Like, they even put a white little thing on top of his head, which I don't feel like is needed. He's supposed to be short. You don't need that extra height added to him. He's a short droid. You don't need this. And the, the printing just looks kind of bad. I feel like this is going to be one of those R2D situations where they mess up the printing. I don't know. I don't like Chopper. It doesn't look too good. Um, but besides that, the figures are great, in my opinion. Now that we're done taking a look at the set, look at this ship in the background right here. This is actually going to be a ship in the 2-in-1 pack that could be $100 coming out in September as well. This, I, we don't know the name of it yet, um, but this is the other ship that has been rumored to be coming out. From the Ahsoka Wave, there's actually going to be a two-pack. So this is going to be one of the ships that's going to be in a $100 two-pack coming up later this year. Um, I'm not in love with the design, personally. I mean, you know, we haven't seen it in live action yet. So we can't really make 100% opinions about it. But I don't love it. I probably won't pick it up unless it has some really desirable made figures from the show. 
final thing I gotta mention is this Ahsoka fig from the new sets. This is probably gonna be in the T6 show. Um, this this looks great. I'm very happy about that. Nice arm printing. You know, they really went all out with this Ahsoka fig. Um, the the it looks great. Although I don't love how the headpiece is shorter than the one in the AAT. It's more accurate, which is good, but it doesn't work for consistency with the other one. You know, I mean, I guess Lego can't worry really with this opinion, but you know, I guess I like the figure overall. You know what? I'm not complaining about this. This is a good thing. The hair, you know, tusks, things, whatever, they're like, they're better. So good job, Lego. Thank you. 10 out of 10 on that Ahsoka figure. So that's going to wrap it up for my thoughts on this new Ahsoka set. Star Wars Rebels slash, yeah. Uh, but this is amazing. Please like and subscribe for more legal leaks coming in the near future. You can hear my thoughts on the gunship coming out as well. I'll pop that right in the end screens right now. Goodbye.